come back to Wanapedia, the one-stop center for Uganda's history, but like I always say, we don't ignore the world. Uh, where you can't see this, Herbert Semiano, he's making these things happen. I only happen to be the old voice behind Wanapedia. We are still pursuing the three-day state visit of President Yoweri Museveni somewhere in the middle of 1986 when he went to visit the late President Abiyarimana in the Republic of Rwanda. And uh, in the earlier uh, clip you saw him crossing the border at Katuna on foot without a visa, um, but officially invited by the President of Rwanda, President Abiyarimana. And it was probably his first time to enter Rwanda officially without sneaking there as a guerrilla, as he had done shortly before he came to power. Um, this visit was designed to early suspicions that uh, because of the large number of uh, uh, Rwandese we had in the National Resistance Army, the two C Rwandese in NRA would use Uganda as a base to attack Abiyarimana and force their way back home. Because those Banyarwanda were truly in what you call a diaspora. Those of you who go to other countries abroad to work and you say you are in a diaspora, I ask you to revisit the correct meaning of that word. You can trace it in the Bible. There are no Jews who were in the diaspora as a religious activity. They were forced there. So not everybody abroad is in the diaspora, no. But that's a subject for another day. So, uh, among other things, the president went to visit Abiyarimana to allay those fears, and he emphasized and even vowed that Uganda would not be used as a launching pad for anyone who wanted to go back home by force. The president didn't probably know what he was saying. Those fellows were determined to go back. And they sneaked back. They waited when he had gone abroad to America. Then they took off. But that's another story for another day. I'm now taking you to the second day of that state visit where uh, the president visited the, the, a large scientific institute. Uh, fortunately, our, our uh, the presidential press unit, which was uh, represented by a large team, including the veteran broadcaster Venice Omona, went with the president. Let's look at the package they captured, which will bring you cuts of one <laughs> Welcome to Robona Agricultural Research Center, some 115 kilometers south of Kigali towards Rwanda Burundi Road. On the second day of his state visit to the Republic of Rwanda, President Yoweri Museveni came here to see what takes place in this agricultural research center and also to look around the countryside as he is taken around by his host, President Jovenal Abiyarimana. Welcome at Robona. President Yoweri Museveni with his host, Major General Juvenal Abialimana at Robona Scientific Research Center. Received by an offer of a bouquet of flower each. Introduced to the director of the institute. On arrival, 
president was introduced to high-ranking government officials in Robona who have come to welcome him and the staff of the scientific research center at Robona. Was flanked by his host, President Juvenal Abiyarimana. acknowledge a rousing welcome at Rubona by the indigenous people. soya beans and groundnuts in which research has been done already and the product is being viewed by President Museveni and uh, his host President Habyarimana. Among the seeds here there are soya beans and the groundnuts. The other side, research is also carried in the production of fruits. And seeds from maize, sorghum, and banana. The various types of bananas range from Bogoya, Gonja, and Matoke. President is offered a gift. To take to the Kawa 
Rwanda Research Station to signify the cooperation which exists between Rubona and the two stations. President receives selected seeds by Rubona Research Station to be taken to Kawanda and to be used by peasants in Uganda. Per hectare. So you write it for me on a piece of paper so that I go with it. The two leaders are now in the laboratory where the actual research is carried out. You have to pay. But our legumes, as beans, soybean, and uh, pea, and so on, uh, need a lot of nitrogen for grow and uh, for produce uh, their uh, protein, to synthesize their proteins. Uh, fortunately, we have an alternative with the, these uh, legumes. Yeah, let's see. We have. Uh, Bi uh, biological fertilizer like this, that is the pit containing the bacteria called rhizobia. When you mix with the seeds before sowing, we have this reaction. This bacteria uh, pro produce the nodules around uh, the, the seeds, the seed, uh, the seed. And when you have these, uh, these nodules, these uh, legumes are able to take the nitrogen from the air, not from the soil. What results we have obtained, you see in the, this is in the uh, rural area. Uh, and on the left, you have the plants which are yellow. It is to say that uh, uh, they, are, uh, they are not uh, uh, nitrogen. And here, we have used only this technique, this bacteria. You have that the plants are vigorous and uh, they have taken the nitrogen from, directly from the air. What is the, avant what is the avant advantages? Because the nitrogen from the soil has been uh, economized. So how, we pro how do we produce these uh, bacteria? bacteria? Mm -hmm. This is the mean Shrapaganda. First of all, we have Ocaria. We prepare the Ocaria. Ocaria. A local Ocaria is a pit, local pit. Uh, but because it is uh, acid, we correct this acidity with a local lime. O pit. O pit. The pit. Turbe. It is the pit. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? Misayo. Ça vient de marée. Pit is, it is Ocaria. But we take, we put this bacteria in this pit. Eh? What, what, what is the, the pit? Pit. Pit. Pit is uh, what? Pit, pit. So is, uh, but we then take the matter. So, so then, so when you have, you put the bacteria there. Bacteria. We continue, please. And we have uh, added some local lime for the correction of the acidity. We put them in the bags. The lime will reduce. It's really good. It's 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 the lime. The lime. Because the acidity of this pit. So lime removes the acidity. The acidity. Mm -hmm. Because the acidity of the pit is around uh, four. And when we add the, the lime, we have the acidity around six or seven. Mm -hmm. 
after a tour of the research center. President Museveni moves now to the animal husbandry section of this place. In the livestock section of Rubona Agricultural Research Center, the president is now being explained what takes place here in regards to research in the high quality cattle for beef and also in the high quality of cattle food which they are now chewing. While research is going on in the production of high quality cattle, they also research in the use of cattle in, for example, transport using a cart. This section has a very strong cooperation between Rubona and the Kawanda Research Station. And here there are different types of cows, include, including Ankole bulls and the exotic types. Okay. From Rubona, we are now in the University of Rwanda in Butare. In Butare, the president is given a rousing welcome in which he is going to see the medical research into local medicine using the local hubs at the university here. It's a medical school research center at the university. At Butare, received with a bouquet of flowers, And they are welcomed by Dr. Charles Nyandia, the Minister for Higher Education of Rwanda. And the university officials, the Vice Chancellor, Mr. Vena Abomvura. President being introduced to government and party officials in Butare before inspecting the medical research plant at the university. was a big welcome at the university by the students, the employees and the staff to President Yoweri Museveni who has come accompanied by his host, Major General Juvenal Habialimana. This is the Faculty of Science of the University of Butare. President Museveni, together with the President Habyarimana, come down to the Faculty of Science, Butare, University of Rwanda. Amid cheers and tumultuous welcome. The Vice Chancellor of the University, Mr. Vena Ntabomvura, 
introduces President Museveni to the staff of the Faculty of Science. and very pleased to welcome you at the National University of Rwanda. We indeed wish you a happy visit here. You are very welcome. Uh, the entire community of the National University of Rwanda is very grateful to you for having come to give them support. It is a fact that support from your excellences will help us in promoting teaching and research activities as well as in reaching high grounds in the domain of socioeconomic and cultural development. Uh, this hub produces a drug by the name of atropine. Uh, a powder or tablets produced from this plant are used for the treatment of stomach aches, uh, asthma, or hiccups. Uh, that paper uh, is uh, generally used uh, for food conditioning it can be rubbed around articulations and other areas in the body, and in these situations, uh, paper will help alleviate pain from, for example, arthritis or rheumatism. Isonga. Uh, plants are often used for drinking as tea. Uh, uh, they are very tough, and uh, the, the product from these leaves is drunk as tea. Um, there is a plant uh, uh, with, with the local name of Murafumba, and the scientific name is Iboza riparia. Uh, this plant is uh, frequently, uh, uh, we have begun trials, clinical trials with the plant, a herb for treating tonsillitis or other inflammatory conditions of the mouth. Uh, it is also used uh, to treat malaria, cough, and diarrhea. Some of the ingredients are active against uh, certain microbes. They are very active against uh, fevers. And probably, they might be active against certain types of cancers. Uh, the plant seems also to be active against wee evils, and therefore can be used for proper storage of sorghum and beans, for example. <coughs> Uh, the we hope that uh, by January 1987, the harvest of medicinal plants cultivated by this research center will be large enough to allow large-scale production of drugs for distribution in hospitals and health centers around the country. Uh, sugar molasses are uh, utilized for producing ethyl alcohol. And the, the, this chemical product serves as a solvent. Uh, in fact, it is used for extracting active principles from plants and that clinical assays or trials will be attempted in the fight against cancer. Uh, Ekibatana, which has uh, a scientific name, Ricinus communis. Uh, it uh, produces anti-calf medicine, and its seeds can also be utilized to produce purgative. Valeriana officinalis, nichati twachiririyamumahanga. We also have an imported plant by the name of uh, Valeriana officinalis. Uh, the, roots, the roots of this plant uh, produce a tincture uh, or even syrups that serve uh, as sedatives. And here I'm talking particularly about people who are unable to have their sleep. We can give them the, the, the product they get their sleep. Or people who are suffering from 
various areas in their borders. It's clear that uh, running all the mentioned departments is a tremendous task that requires the presence of many researchers. Uh, the center has 11 researchers. Uh, we have three pharmacists, uh, two medical doctors, uh, three chemists, uh, one botanist. And we also have uh, other support personnel, particularly in uh, the area of the secretariat, uh, or for the cultivation of our fields and in laboratories. Two presidents have now been invited to physically view the products of the plant. <coughs> President looks at some of the capsules produced by the center. This is the botanical garden at the University Faculty of Science, where some of the plants identified useful for research into traditional medicine are grown by the staff of the university for easy reach and access when necessary. This is the plant through which the herbs are processed, distilled, boiled, and whatever they want is received from here. <laughs> Yeah, by boiling right. So when you, I think if you boil, maybe the cells burst and the thing oozes out. So what happens here? Alors le, le détail que Monsieur le Président voudrait comprendre, c'est que il comprend que la directeur de l'université is uh, saying that we utilize uh, the steam. Steam massage is so powerful that uh, it would uh, just help extract the active ingredient from the, the leaf, from the leaf. And uh, that's one process. He also talked about another process where you mix leaves and alcohol and then the active ingredient goes up. Uh, he also explained that at times you can use boiling as a process also. Uh, and especially uh, for certain plants where the active ingredient would be, uh, would be killed, in fact. Would be killed, they, they, they have to avoid high temperatures. President signing visitor's book at the Medical Research Center of the National University of Rwanda in Butare. This center, which was established in 1972, 
at the Faculty of Medicine is now doing research into traditional medicine using various type of herbs. Did you hear that? This institute was by 1972 making drugs from traditional herbs. 1972. Huh? You've seen the extent of their research and you could also compare that to your own country. But what's the main lesson here for especially the Ugandans who don't know much about Rwanda? This is 1972 when that institution was started. Now, for those Ugandans who think Rwanda was born in 1994. Start thinking again. This is just the second of a series of very interesting clips on the history of our two countries. And uh, in the next one, you are actually going to see the president yet again vehemently stating that Uganda would not be a launching pad for an attack on Rwanda. Recently, there have been a lot of rumors circulated by people who are ignorant politically that the refugees of Rwanda in Uganda will use Rwanda as a base to come and attack, will use Uganda as a base to come and attack Rwanda. This is not, not possible and it will not happen and I like to assure all the people here that it will not happen at all. And again saying that although he doesn't mind being a Minyarwanda if God had created him that way, he is not and has no dose at all in his system of being a Minyarwanda. Wanapedia once again invites you to this rich history, cuts of the presidential press unit, and very ceremony in commentary at that time.